someone is complaining about you someone is complaining about you they are saying your love your love has a motive they are saying there is a reason why you do the things you do they are saying you are not genuine Now the question is, are you going to prove them right or you prove them wrong? What would your response be? The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 1 and verse 10. Now this is, the Bible says that when the sons of God were gathered, Satan went there too. And when God saw him, God asked him a question. Have you considered my servant Job? He first asked him, where have you been? He says, um, I've been going to and fro the earth, looking for whom to devour. And God asked him, have you considered my servant Job? And now this is Satan responding. In one, the 1 verse 10, he says, You have always protected him and his home. Now when I read this, it cannot give me an assurance that there is always we are always working on that divine protection. When I read this, it gave me the assurance we are always working on that divine protection. God is always protecting us. All right. Whether you know it or not, there is a coverage. He's here. He is always keeping his, there are always angels on guard. But, but say, because if Satan said it, it means he should have tried to afflict Job, but he couldn't because there was a protective shield says you have always protected him and his home and his property from all harm you have prospered everything he does look how rich he is no wonder he worships you he felt he started by saying does does job fear you for nothing the devil thinks the, the only reason why we fear god and why we worship him is because of what he does for us is because of what he's given us and now the question I want to ask you is, if you did not have everything you have, would you still serve God? Will he still matter to you? And there are some people who worship and pray and serve God until he blesses them and they turn their backs away from him. Which one are you? Are you the one who loves God regardless of your situation? Are you the one coming after God because you want things if God blesses you or when God blesses you are you still going to remain faithful and loyal to him remember there is always the accuser of the brethren who is ready to go accuse you before God are you going to be found wanting or you are going to be like Joe who was faithful till the end this is just um, to bring this to your notice. No, you might be living your life and you think you're just doing your things. But the devil is always watching and ready to accuse you to the Father. Would you be found blameless? Would you be found blameless? This is just a wake-up call for you to make your ways right with God. For you to realigned your motives if you were doing things with the wrong motive this is the right time for you to correct that mentality and embrace the love of god hallelujah god bless you shalom